back to my channel unless you're new then a big welcome to you. This week we are going to be doing a $100 brutally honest overrated slime shop review. Man, that is a tongue twister. But basically how this works is you guys voted for Peachy Babies. I'm just going to be reviewing her slimes. So before we get on with the video, there's just a couple disclaimers I want to get out of the way. The first thing is, is that I paid for all of these slimes with my own money that I make off of YouTube. The second thing is, is that I include shipping in the overall price. So if these slimes come up to less than $100, that is why. And because I purchased this when she was having a massive sale on all of her slimes because she was getting ready to leave for a slime convention. So technically these slimes were a lot cheaper than they would typically be, but I didn't want to be reviewing more than eight slimes in one review because then you can't get all the details on them. And the third thing is probably the most exciting. I've started up a brand new YouTube channel at Julia Catherine. It is a lot more about my personal life on there. So if you think that's even a little bit interested, I will have it linked down below if you want to go check it out. So of course we just have some scissors and some activator in case any of the slimes got sticky over shipping. So surprisingly, this slime package came with very little bubble wrap and protection. I'm actually really surprised that nothing broke during the shipping process, but you know what? I'll take it. So all the slimes that I got today, except for one, were in six ounce containers. They are just clear, screw top like containers that pretty much every slime seller uses. But it's kind of weird. Some of them have an opaque white lid and some of them have a clear lid. On the top, we have her Peachy Babies logo. And I'm not gonna lie, some of these labels were looking a little bit rough and mangled. That's okay, but I'm just gonna keep that in mind when I'm doing my evaluation. Right here, we have Grasshopper Milkshake. Just keep in mind that these slimes were a lot cheaper than they would typically be on her shop. So this slime is a little bit sticky because it has been sitting in my bedroom for so long but that is fine that is what we have the activator for so I'm actually really obsessed with this texture it just kind of feels like a I'd say three quarters glue all base slime with a quarter of school glue in there it's super thick creamy stretchy and it also has a slightly jelly texture because of that what feels like school glue in there it also had a really nice gloss at the beginning but this is just a really like solid base slime I'm actually living for it. I'm actually really obsessed with this color too. It's just this really light mint color. And then inside of the slime we just have little, it kind of looks like jimmies or sprinkles, which are actually little plastic pieces. This slime also has a really light minty scent to it. It smells exactly like chocolate chip ice cream. Honestly, this seems more like chocolate chip ice cream than a grasshopper milkshake. I'm not really sure where she was going with that but I respect it. So overall, I'm gonna give this slime a 10 out of 10. There isn't really anything out of the ordinary about this slime, but she absolutely killed it with the baseline texture. Up next, we have Strawberry Milkshake Pop-Tart. So right off the bat, this is so pretty. It looks like we have cut up little pieces of foam at the top along with iridescent glitter. It's thick. Ooh, and it's also like multicolor. Wait, hold up. So on the very top layer, we just have a really light baby pink color. And on the bottom, it's kind of closer to a hot pink color. So I do have to say, this is a very thick and dense cloud cream, which is kind of preventing it from fluffing up really well. I'm not gonna lie, this obviously would not be the best for drizzling because it is so dense and thick, but it is really fun to just squish and kind of stretch. It does have very soft sizzles, which are very soothing. Just listen. Snow fallout is pretty prominent, but when you go and touch the slime, pretty much all of it comes off. Ooh, so it does look like this slime gets stuck to my desk. Ooh, yeah. This smells exactly like strawberry icing. This is also extremely stretchy. Sometimes with cloud creams, they tend to rip because of all the snow that's in it, but I could stretch this one to the moon and back. So overall, I'm gonna give this slime a 9.5 out of 10 because of a little bit of extra snow fallout. But other than that, the slime is the bomb. I do understand there's a give and a take for how thick the slime is, but snow fallout was a little bit excessive. Up next, we have Angel Food Cake, and might I mention that these little pictures on the side are so adorable. Ooh, whoa, it's cool. Oh, I like it. 
so this has such a unique texture it kind of feels like a glue all base mixed with a little bit of Daiso soft clay with some chunks inside of it which kind of feel like either those fake snow pieces that are like shaved up ice or a very finely crunched packing peanuts I love the hint of texture that it adds my gosh mmm I also love the little sprinkles in here. I'm loving that extra hint of texture in it. This just makes this slime so much more interesting and fun to play with. It's also super smooth, creamy, and stretchy. It has this really nice pure white base. It makes me look so tan. And it has an extremely light vanilla scent. Overall, I'm gonna give this slime a 10 out of 10. I am living for this little like hint of creativity. So as you can see, this slime did poof up a good amount, considering it wasn't a puff slime. Up next, we have peanut butter cup mousse. Whoa, okay. The one thing I have noticed about her though is I don't think I've ever seen her make a real cloud dough slime. All of her slimes just seem to be really thick cloud creams. But I respect that. I mean, look at this thickness. This one is even thicker than the strawberry milkshake Pop-Tart slime, and mm, not gonna lie, I'm loving it. I just love how thick, creamy, soft, and stretchy these slimes are. This scent smells so appetizing though. Whoops, I just hit my literal face on the tripod. Okay. This slime kind of has a weird way of sticking to your hands though. As you can see, there is a lot <laughs> of snow fallout on my fingers and it kind of like gathers together and turns into these like stringy looking things. And it also kind of has it on the slime. Cause I think I've only had that happen to me like one other time. I don't know why that happens. Maybe it's because the slime is so packed with fake snow to make it this thick. So overall, I'm gonna give this slime an 8.5 out of 10 because there is a lot of snow fallout. Up next, we have Yoshi Puff. Ooh. So before I go and mix it all up, as you can see, it looks like we have a gradient going on right here. We have a darker green on the top, which is more like neon and vibrant, and then a light green on the bottom, which kind of reminds me of a shamrock shake. Whoa, okay. So it looks like the slime on the bottom is actually a school glue base. So this slime kind of reminds me of Christmas because it does have red sprinkles inside of it, but obviously it also matches the Yoshi theme. So this starting texture is really creamy, soft, smooth, and stretchy. So let's get on to trying to puff this up. So I think this is about as puffy as it's going to get. Let's put it back into the container and put it to the test. Hmm, okay. So this definitely did puff up a good amount, actually. After it is all puffed up, it feels very fluffy and poofy. But the cool thing about these puff slimes, it doesn't just feel like the slime expanded because more air was put into it. It literally feels like there's more of the same type of slime here, just a little bit more fluffy. This slime smells a lot like a lemon Bath and Body Works hand sanitizer. So overall, I'm gonna give this slime a 10 out of 10. Up next, we have Stardust Cloud. So right off the bat, the slime is just so cute. First of all, we have this pastel pink and purple in here along with white, kind of like a gradient. And then we have a little cloud charm along with all these little star glitter dust thingies. Like this is just an example of how thick her cloud doughs are. So after all of those colors mixed together, it just makes this really nice light lilac color. This is so gorgeous and like just delicate. I do have to say this cloud dough is a little bit stiffer than the other ones. It does tend to rip if you stretch it too quickly and it is pretty hard to stretch because it's so thick. So I'd say this is definitely the thickest cloud cream out of them all. And as you can see, there's a good amount of snow fallout on my thumb from the slime. There's also a good amount on my feet. 
10 currants. Oh gosh. Just like the peanut butter cup mousse, there's also a good amount of snow fallout on the slime. And because of that, we're getting a lot of shavings on my desk. It's kind of hard to see because this slime is lighter, but it is there. So I'm not a big fan of that. But anyway, this slime is super thick and creamy. It's a lot of fun to just squish. It also has a really light scent of like sweet tarts or something of that sort. I don't know. It smells yummy though. I just wish there was more of the scent because the scent is like very, very light. So overall, I'm gonna give this slime an eight out of 10. The snow fallout was just, it was a little much. Last but definitely not least, we have I Lava You. Okay, so the slime does seem a little bit empty when you tip it to the side. As you can see, it is lower than normal. Ooh, thick, thick, thick. Kinda looks like a color gradient here with like a hot pink and then a light pink butter slime. This is a really nice butter slime. It does feel really thin but it is so thick when you go and just kind of put it down like this. It's either a full out butter slime or a really thick slay slime, which is basically a regular slime and a clay slime mixed together. This is so buttery. Oh, did you see that? Whoa, this is so buttery. I could spread this to like Mars. This is also like mega stretchy, I mean. This slime also smells really sweet with like a hint of ginger. I don't know where the ginger comes from, but I don't mind it actually. So overall, I'm gonna give this slime a 10 out of 10. Extras. So I was lucky enough to get a little two ounce slime as an extra. Right here we have lemon sponge cake. Whoa. So this has a really sizzly texture. It almost feels like there's a little bit of clear slime in here. It is super stretchy, squishy, and creamy. Kind of feels like a mix between a jelly slime and a cloud cream. This is really great for on the go because it is so tiny, but it is also really thick so you don't have to worry about it spilling everywhere. And it smells a lot like lemon and I respect that because I love lemon flavored things, okay. So other than that slime, we just got a little Peachy Babies wristband. And then she just gave me this little baggie which is basically a glitter bomb with her business card and some borax. I'll be sure to link all of her stuff down below if you wanna go check her out as well. So overall, I really love this slime package from Peachy Babies, but I still have a couple things I'd like to say about her shop. I do have to say her cloud creams can get a little bit messy sometimes with the snow fallout, but all of her other slime textures were pretty good. I do have to say that Angel Food Cake was definitely my favorite because of how unique it was. So I'd just like to thank Peachy Babies for this awesome slime package. So if you guys did like this slime video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and to hit that big red subscribe button down below and the little post notification bell right next to it to get notified every time I post a new video. By doing this, you'll become a member of the hashtag notification squad and one of my timers. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll be sure to see you all in the next one. Bye!